Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the RHAP coverage for jet lag because it's time. We're so back. Tag three. Uh, the season of tag of jet lag, the game has ended, uh, but we are here to talk about it. That's that's our jobs. I'm uh, I'm Taryn Armstrong and with me, Sasha. How you doing, Sasha? So excited. Um, I think maybe we were on an Italian train. Maybe yeah. we got delayed a little bit, but we made it. Okay. We we finally caught the right train and we've caught we showed up. Get yes. excited, everyone. Yes. Uh very exciting that uh that they were playing tag this season. Uh it's been a very fun season of the show. So uh I, what we're doing here, we're gonna talk about the entirety of tag three for jet lag the game uh from start to finish there will be full spoilers for uh the full season so um we're just you know if you haven't watched it yet go watch it uh yeah. and then come back and you'll you'll get our reactions to what happened the winner uh the various shenanigans and hijinks along the way uh that is our plan here today I I'm so ready. I went and rewatched the whole season to get prepped and and I was like, "Well, I remember what happened." And then I just could be like, "Oh yeah, this happened." And then that happened. And what a fun season. And particularly, I must say I felt very excited by the challenges uh this mm -hmm. season. I felt like they were so silly and I made a card. What's going on? I liked that they felt harder. They they talked yes, about this being yes, yes. something that they were intentionally doing was mm -hmm. trying to make the challenges more difficult. Um and it was it was good to see them fail. <laughs> yes. Couldn't believe Adam failed challenges. What's happening? We're in the upside down. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, uh very fun stuff. Uh tag is always a good time and um, what I thought was, you know, so I, I think the, the main differences here for this season versus previous seasons of tag, because we haven't covered any season mm -hmm. of tag, but the basic premise of tag in jet lag, the game is that they all start at a central location. They split up a radius, a big circle into three segments. Um, and those are their like win, what do they call them? Their win areas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um basically maps, right? that they go into yeah i think win area is good enough. something like that um and so uh basically the idea is they start at the middle one of them is uh is it one of them is you know the the the, the, the runner, runner. Mm -hmm. versus uh the two chasers and uh they just they run they run off into their uh their little segment of that circle and they try their best to reach an end goal an end area where if they get there they win the game um, so slight spoilers for tag the game hasn't happened yet. Uh, nobody gets to their area, um, at least not yet. And so what happens if they don't end up reaching their goal, if they get tagged first, then swaps to a new runner, they run off to get to their win area or their win, you know, location to try to, uh, to try to win themselves and then so on and so forth. It just keeps cycling around until, uh, until the game ends, there is a hard time limit. Um, and what happens is that when the time limit ends, the uh, the person who is in or wherever they are when the game ends, whichever win area it is, it doesn't matter who is actually the runner at that time, as long as they're in the area, that person wins the game. Um, and it's just in case I haven't made this clear, massive area. They are going <laughs> on trains. Uh, they are, you know, uh, all across Europe. Uh, in various uh, places. This was a new area this time for them, mm -hmm. although still, of course, in Europe um, and uh, in, in various uh, areas. So um, very fun stuff, Sasha. Yeah, I'm really excited because, again, I uh, I don't know. Like, I like the tags. I think I'm more partial to, like, the team game scavenger hunt type uh, stuff a little bit more. Uh, but still, this... This felt way more exciting, and I think you're right. I think it's because of the difficult challenges, and they, it felt like they were going in a circle at this point, right? Like, we had the same five stops that mm -hmm. almost kept coming up. Like, boy, I didn't even know there was a um, a Venice Junior, but there is, and, and that seemed to be just like, oh, it was like Monopoly, right? Like, Pasco. Every time you Pasco, collect 200, and that's what that felt like. So this, this felt like 
a much crazier game. But I don't know if I'm just forgetting the others. Well, something so that's interesting about this for the jet lag guys is that um, they don't often play the same game more than once. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're always coming up with new games. Tag is kind of the one game that they've really returned to multiple times now. And they've done very minimal changes to the game structure itself. I believe for Tag 2, they literally just said, as an experiment, let's just run it again exactly the same. Yeah. Um, and they made some slight changes to this version, of course, um, but it's still largely the same game. And what that has meant for the gameplay of Tag is that they're really starting to get onto like a new level where they're, you know, they're playing at a higher, uh, in a higher space. It's like, well, I know that if I go this way, they'll think I'm going this way, but really I'll be going this way. <laughs> and like, <laughs> I need to juke them here yes, and like yes. so on and so forth. And so like the game has evolved, uh, mm-hmm. they're, they're, the way that they've played has evolved on top of them, you know, changing the location and uh, making the challenges more difficult. So that's really fun. Um, and I have to imagine that uh, if and when they do tag four, uh, the game will also evolve to uh, buying the chaser locations a little more often. <laughs> I'm confusion. <laughs> I'm confusion because today, again, when I was rewatching, I went and, and I said, "Wow, look at all these things they could buy to help them out." So, and and we'll get to it. I have a specific moment where Sam, what the first run, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Vibes it was only. Like when I was watching the season, I knew we were going to do a season recap. And right. I was like, okay. Main point number one. <laughs> Man, in this instance, it really would have helped to use the uh, the the tracker for the uh, the chasers, um, and then it happened again, and I was like, "Oh wow, this is really the season where like it really would have been beneficial for them <laughs> to to track the the chasers." And then it happened again, and I was like, "Okay, hold on." <laughs> It's like, am I being punked? What's happening? Did you add that in post, and that actually wasn't available? What's going? On? <laughs> yes and they have talked about it on yes. uh on their podcast so we don't need to like super belabor the point they they recognize it they get it they know they should have bought the, the and location. it's hard i think in the moment <laughs> yes um but uh and i and i i do wonder if they're gonna like make it more expensive in the future given how much oh. it could have helped in this season you know That's like it, fair. i think it was 350 yeah, yeah it was like location. tiny yeah yeah it was definitely less than 500 um so yeah i mean uh we will we'll talk about it but 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 right away adam is the uh mm-hmm. the runner and oh should um, we say where everyone has to get to or does it matter sure, yes yeah so adam has to get to slovakia uh sam has to get to france and ben has to get to italy and we do start in italy but again ben still has a long way down to go yeah, and and obviously, like the thing about this game is that it is not necessarily the most balanced thing yeah. in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, the locations are obviously very different. The routes to get to where you're going are very different. The locations, uh, like the area themselves, themselves, the areas themselves are very different. Um, and even just like the order in which you go uh, can slant the game in particular directions. That doesn't mean that like it's an unfair game. It's just, there is a lot of randomness to it. Um, and, and that I think is very fun. Um, but, uh, but it also means that, uh, that like, you know, certain locations might have an easier go in certain areas, but then further down it's harder or vice versa. Um, and, uh, like for instance, Ben wanted to do a plan where he just got on a boat. (laughs) Harder to do that in other areas. (laughs) There's no water. Um, that's a d- logistics will never bother our king. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I still think that plan could work though. You know. I know. I just wonder if time and planes are a bit. Yeah. Like, can you just you like Lake Como? I mean, technically, can you just? I feel like like, because the thing about jet lag is that uh the and they've talked about this extensively. Mm -hmm. Like the players are also the producers which helps incentivize them to not break the game in fun ways. So like <laughs> going out on a boat and just like rowing away like, was basically unbeatable. Because how is anyone going to ever tag you? Oh my God. So I would imagine, but I would imagine there's still a way for this to work where like, if you go out on a boat, 
you have to just like stay put. And if they come That's out to I get you think. on a boat, they can tag you. Uh, it would still be very inconvenient and difficult and time consuming, but like not impossible. Yeah, because I'm the because I'm just looking at a map and I wonder because it's because it was Ben's idea. Could he have either yeah gone to Venice? famous for said boats or a uh, Genoa and then just gone down uh, mm -hmm. all the way to Southern Italy where his a point was possible, yeah. <laughs> but wild. I just don't think, how do you do challenges? Actually, this is a question I had, which again, qu uh, maybe you have to have enough money before you get on said boat. Fine. I'm literally thinking a rowboat. I'm thinking like, yeah, <laughs> but my question is, if you are on said robo, is it free? And That's if true, it's yeah. yeah, and if it's not free, can you do challenges on that transportation? Because it doesn't look like you can do challenges on. I think it would count as transportation. You probably couldn't do challenges yeah. on it. You'd also maybe have to calculate what is the distance I intend to travel on this <laughs> slow mode of transportation. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you get the curse where you can't use your phone and you're on a rope. <laughs> It's over. Just, just leave me, <laughs> leave me in the sea. Yeah, I just want to see like, uh, like somebody over, over some water, and then be like, "Are they on a plane? No, they're going way too slow." <laughs> and it's just you. <laughs> oh my god! And then, and then this is when Ben had the pickles. So imagine for calories, you were having croissant dip pickles <laughs> while you're rowing the boat. No, uh, it would be so annoying to tag somebody yeah, then to become it. it, to become the runner and have to <laughs> row your way back to shore. No, no, if I, <laughs> I'm quitting. There's just no way. All right. Well, uh, of anyway, course, we're, we're one. We're Adam starts yeah. as the runner and uh, has a great first run. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. really makes it uh, really far. Um, in fact, I don't actually have the map in front of me, nor am I geographically uh, gifted yeah. enough to be able to tell. But this feels like one of the furthest distances that's traveled in the whole game, barring probably the finale. Yeah, I into think so. Into a wind region. Yes, into exactly. Into the wind region for sure, I think. Because baby Ben, I, I think he gets two stops. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. So I, I'm i just looking at even, yeah, I'm just staring at a map. And because he don't even make it to Bologna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Ben. I mean, it's Adam. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so he has this interesting plan that was a little bit reminiscent of uh, hide and seek for me, where like mm -hmm. he gets off on one station manually like walks across essentially the the border i think yes, uh, yes. two miles but he walks slovenia yeah. mm -hmm. to take another train that they did not anticipate but unfortunately for him by the time he made that play like they were able to like really just catch up to him mm -hmm. um but this is still a very fun run uh this is where he made like a tower of spaghetti spaghetti and cheeto <laughs> and cheese balls cheeto, cheese balls sorry when he said yeah. cheese balls i don't know about you but my mind went to like, like cheese, oh, literal, like, a ball like baby of cheese, yeah, as opposed to like a cheese puff. And I was like, Ooh. "How in the world is that's going to be way too heavy?" <laughs> See, you're too healthy as a human being. <laughs> this is your problem. Yeah, I eat too many cheese For, balls in my yeah, health. No, diet. that's not girlies. We have you never been to Costco where there's a big ass <laughs> cheese ball? That's like I was like. Wait, how is he going to walk around with that thing of cheese ball? <laughs> Mind you, they must have a small pack, but I didn't even know that existed, Americans. Yeah. Um, so uh, that was very fun. He also has the uh, flip a coin challenge, which oh. um, he talked about this on the on uh, the layover <laughs> podcast, uh, which everyone should, of course, listen to, uh, where he was like the frustrating, and because it, it's true, the frustrating part of this challenge is that you can't make any progress. Like the 50th time you start trying to flip, uh, what was it? Seven heads in yeah. a row. Uh, it was, yeah, it was seven. The, and then, yeah, I just can't it, believe this. It's the same odds as the first time and the same odds as the 150th time. So like, it's not like you're like, okay, well, I've been doing it for two hours. Therefore I'm due one soon. 
that's not how it works. Well, that's <laughs> how um, Dave and Buster's and casinos are in play. <laughs> and here's why they still keep going. I'm so close to the jackpot. It's going to happen any minute, baby. 700 flips almost, maybe 699 for him to give up. No, that's crazy, you know? And you you watch Amazing Race, right? I just, I feel like these shows have taught us sunken cost fallacy. Like we got to learn it and you got to give up much faster. But I guess he's just vibing, walking around, <laughs> flipping them coins. I mean, I don't think this would have helped him that much if he had mm -hmm. managed to do the challenge. He still didn't make it to the train no. in time for it to like leave before they caught up to him. Um, but uh, but still, I mean, uh, rough, rough challenge there <sighs> for Adam. Horror. And again, he, I just feel like Ben is way too calm. Like, I don't understand how, because he starts off very paranoid, right? Because we see, um, Adam goes, but you know, Ben and Sam are delayed again, story of this whole jet lag delay here. And then Adam's like, you know what? I'm gonna get off early because then I'm gonna take a bus and then I'm going to do a train. All these like gymnastics, other two vibes. They're just like, oh, shucks, we're late, we're lost. And it's just all of this to say that would if he doesn't do the veto period, could he have gotten there faster? I don't know. Perhaps. That's the only, yeah, like basically, did he have a more than 30 minute buffer or not? I guess that's the question. I mean, I, I think if I'm remembering correctly, the, the train just hadn't left yet. Like it wasn't okay. like there was a train he could have taken, Um, I think. Yeah, that's um, right. Because then after that, he does the spaghetti tower. Right. So that, yeah. So may maybe you're right. Maybe there was, just wasn't going to be a train. Um, but it's, it maybe maybe it's possible. Maybe I'm not remembering, but mm -hmm. it might've been possible. Like if he had really booked it, there was maybe an earlier train yeah. he could have gotten out on, but, um, but, but the funny needed money anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the funny part here is that he runs into some local Slovenians, um, <laughs> who, uh, <laughs> help him out. I, it was still like, it, it felt to me like uh, <laughs> like like the the Slovenians were clearly helping Adam. Oh, but, duh. But it, it felt like uh, Sam and, and Ben were still not convinced. Yeah. No, and I feel like Adam himself was like, is he on my side? Is Whose side is he on? And this man. Listen, a lot of people are saying Ludwig. They're saying, uh, you know, like a GeoGuessr guy. Right. Uh, Rain bolts, they're saying, uh, you know, whoever get this Slovenian guy, he played all of them for fools. Uh, he will, he will orchestrate a social game like never, never seen before on Jet Lag, correct? And the way he did it, Taryn, with so much ease, like he didn't give a damn <laughs> that he was just like, he said, Oh, I saw your friend, right? Like, playing, like acting dumb as hell and he's like mm, i saw your friend he's looking for cheese balls and mind you the tower has already been made he's not looking for no cheese balls and completely sends them on this wild goose chase and helping and then goes back to adam and then is like you should hide <laughs> they're well, here <laughs> i'm pretty sure i remember adam saying that in the podcast that uh the guy offered to like hide him in his like apartment yes <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> i forgot about that <laughs> Like, that's a real one. You know, when I say ride or die, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's listen, if they're ever going to shake up the teams, it's going to be Adam and the Slovenian versus Ben and Sam. Honestly, Adams and Slovenian are winning just because that, I don't know that shout out to that Slovenian. He deserves all good things in the world. And I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I think it was with an M. Mm. Well, they do catch him. Uh, laying uh, down on dirt. Lying down on the other side of the train tracks. I was just like, Adam, why do you think this is hidden? <laughs> you know those kids that are like, if I close my eyes, you can't see me? That's what it was giving. And again, shout out to the editing, right? Which we, I think, is Adam and maybe also Ben mm -hmm. for this <laughs> package. Because we know Adam's like, this is so stupid for the coins. I have to edit all this um but he's laying down like allegedly he thinks he's hidden and then the cut to ben and sam and ben and being like he's right there look <laughs> he's just there and they're they have no urgency because they believe that this man can see them and they're playing you know some funny game and adam again maybe it's for the bit but fully is like 
They can't see me. I'm good. Maybe they won't come this way. <laughs> yep. But of course I'm they can. <laughs> I'm serious. It was so good. Um, so then that kicks off another very uh, ridiculous run as uh, Sam starts uh, his his series of uh, train rides here. Um, his his run uh, marked by his, uh, in my opinion, uh, a, a series of um, interesting challenge failures. Correct. Um, one of which is the puzzle box, which they have been carrying around for a while. A uh, year, apparently. Like I can only imagine like carrying this thing around and being like, someday it's going to happen. And then it finally happens and you're like, I have no idea. <laughs> it's like, is it me? <laughs> Am I dumb? And I will say, um, when I saw those tweets, Taryn, I felt like it has to be the like, the four, you know, four equals four, mm. two equals two. Because I was like, if it's a three digit number, nothing else makes sense. But that's the extent of how far I also would have gotten. That's honestly, I I had not spotted it before they gave the clue. Uh, I was still looking at like the time, the day, yeah. the okay, like I was I looking see. at other things first. Um, and then by the time they read the clue, I was like, oh, that's clever. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, and then yeah, I don't think there was any part of this that I was able to like quickly solve uh, watching it. Yeah, after that, it was completely like, wow, that's nice. You really had to be in Amy's brain <laughs> to get it. Uh, and I really would have, uh, I'm sure we'll see a different versions of this. And if not, um, I'm starting the petition. Amy's puzzle box challenge has to show up every time. I uh, agree. Because I would love to see again how their brains work because you have the stress of time. And you need the money. So you're going to do this. But then this is like a box in a box in a box. I think this would work even better as a team challenge. Agreed. Toby where there's two people who can bounce it. ideas off of each mm -hmm. other. Um, I think that would be fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought about that too. Like it would be interesting uh, to see how a team – and maybe let's say if Sam gets this again, it would be really interesting if Sam's partner who isn't as entrenched in jet lag, do they offer a better perspective to be like, no, it must be X, Gosh, right? you can just say it. Toby will solve it for him. <laughs> you said it. You said it. <laughs> this is Michelle too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Michelle has all these FBI, CI, whatever trainings, right? Like, gotta come in handy sometime. But it, um, it was, yeah, it was, I don't know. I was like, and then imagine, Taryn, you're calling a phone number when Amy's telling you, right? And then the phone number says, great, dial one for this, dial two for this, dial three for the puzzle box. You dial three, there's no puzzle box clue. I said, I quit. There's no. <laughs> Oh, uh he also okay. fails the date uh what is it date and object or something um oh yes yes where the bridge has to be oh well sorry he picks a bridge but um because he yes. gets cursed which is good is what i've realized date an old thing is yes. the title which is a yeah, no. great great title um <laughs> yes i don't so they all agreed that this did not count uh that which even is, though I, i'm i think it should have I, I thought so too. And listen, I, I know they disagree. Uh mm -hmm. and, and it is their game. The um, <laughs> but I feel like the date of original building and conception, regardless of the fact that it's been like a ship of Theseus, uh, <laughs> I feel like that should count. Personally. And here's the thing. If he didn't have his sorry, if Sam had his phone, would it have made a difference? I don't think so. Um, uh, but I wonder if he could have uh, you know, uh, Google map to a different location, but either way, not that that matters. I think that if it originally was a certain date and he was like on the money, we give it, we give it, but I guess I would have given it. that, that would have been my yeah. judgment as a judge, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not a judge. Um, <laughs> we're, just, we're just here judging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, he he ends up getting a couple of double up uh, yes. curses. It, he he starts making bank here, <laughs> despite the failures, um, and uh, and then gets into a standoff with Ben and Adam because 
they're trying to anticipate his moves, but he's just trying to win challenges and bank up money for his next run. Um, and uh, and this this is really this run to me feels like the bulk of the season. Um, yeah, just like yeah. how much time is spent on mm -hmm. uh, this like back and forth and the standoff and the challenges. Um, and and it makes sense because you know ultimately spoilers for the end of the season but uh <laughs> sam is going to end up winning and his winning run is pretty straightforward and like he, he makes one train and it, it's, it, that's it it's over right so shout uh, out Milan. <laughs> it makes sense to like spend a little bit of time on the previous run which set him up for success in his in his second run but what i was so confusion because we're hearing from uh from ben and adam right like hey here's what he should do he should if he does this, he's going to end up in the Alps and then we're not going to catch him. Or if he goes uh, to Trento, or, yeah, I think up in the, up north, we're not going to catch him, blah, blah, blah. Oh, if he does this, we're not going to catch him. Sam just says, great, I'm going to just sit right here and well, end he my run. He didn't see what they saw, right? Like Fair. he didn't see that Fair. train that they found that was like the perfect train. Oh, um, I thought he did. Okay, I'm sorry. I this think. Helps. I think okay. I, I remember him. Like I don't okay. think he knew that it existed, but also he might not have even that had like the budget for a proper run at that point Got um, it. because he failed those challenges. I think that he was – because it, it's not like he was even looking for something like that mm -hmm. because I think he knew that That's he needed fair. to – recover yeah, 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 yeah. some money uh you know because he failed the puzzle box and stuff um so uh so ultimately his plan is just bank more money and as ben and adam get into the choke point uh they're just like all right we gotta go up here or down here um and it's again it's just like this like honestly i feel like there's a way sam might have been able to win this uh if if he had known where they were yes with the budget he had in this run um, you know, I, I, they would know better than me, but like, mm -hmm. I feel like if he knew where they were, uh, th this is another question I have actually, uh, yeah. and maybe, it, maybe we know this information, mm -hmm. but, uh, do the chasers know when you see their location? Like you have to ask they them for it, right? Well, oh, okay. One does, how long does the curse last? Um, because right. they technically, it, if. Even if, right, like in a normal run, they don't get to know this curse that he has where the chasers know everything, they're most likely then going to get <laughs> uh, get that, oh, they know where, he knows where we are. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that goes right. into This is definitely the first time I was like, man, mm -hmm. it would really be helpful if Sam knew where they were. <laughs> yeah, this is like the only time where I re felt really passionate that like there is something he could have done. But I think this is so like Sam where mm -hmm. he has this one idea and then he's just it's going to work out. And most of the time it works <laughs> for him. So who are we to say anything? Because. When this run ended, I was like, damn, it could have really, you know, happened, but maybe for content, blah, blah, right? Like, I'm trying to rationalize all these scenarios. And then I said, see, see how it ends. And then I said, wow, all is well that ends well, I guess. <laughs> the plan worked. All right. So Sam is caught. And uh, rich ass Sam is caught. He's so rich. He's got a billion dollars, um, you know. Uh, he could he could easily get into a rivalry with Elon Musk. Wait, oh my God! Um, why was I thinking that? I'm not even joking. <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> and I was like, "Is that a weird joke?" <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Elon would be. Listen, Elon would be like, "Oh, I'd make a great jet lag contestant." Yeah, I in just, my mind, I was I'd like, "Great!" And now Sam's of, buying Twitter. <laughs> I'd just make a bunch of tunnels get around <laughs> oh my god what that train isn't on time i'll just buy it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, Dude, that was the police <laughs> issue <laughs> so the thing for oh sam here god. is that he needs for uh for ben and adam to have short enough runs that he he gets to go again and spend all of these coins. Um and uh the that plan is not looking amazing when Ben has the perfect train right out of the station. Um, but then it starts to look very amazing. <laughs> what five minutes can do to your life. 
right? It can literally ruin everything. <laughs> oh my God. The fa best thing is like, Ben is like, great. I have a train to Verona that, you know, will take me into my exit, right? Like so, plan, a plan, a plan. All good. He's so ready. <laughs> and then you see the video where he is looking down it's, it's and the train shot. is just. Is I that my train leaving? <laughs> and then he said, was uh, the joke is he, I, I want, I want to know, like, did he think he was on the wrong platform for a second? You know? Cause he's like, no, my turn's delayed. You know, that like delusion that said it's <laughs> true. Yeah. You could see it like the denial of reality in, yes. that, in that brief moment of like, surely not. <laughs> what <laughs> oh my god and taryn i must say this happened to me granted it was with a bus but it was like again one of them like huge huge buses and i like bent <laughs> i like looked down to um to cut like my coupon out so that i could give it to the bus driver uh, to get on um to get in french polynesia my honeymoon French Polynesia, one thing about them, maybe they are on time. They don't get, I'm thinking, I'm a person of color. They're people of color. It's an island. Things must run late. No, Taryn. And they, I didn't even know when the bus left. I looked up and there was no bus. So I can't even talk about Ben. I can't even make fun of him because this legitimately happened to me. And there was no stress on me. It's, yeah, I just, it, it's such a good moment for i would call it television but you know it's i guess content is the word but like uh just it, it, capturing that moment of just pure shock terror disbelief um and he is genuinely in a daze for <laughs> minutes afterward just like i i can't oh my god when i tell you I was losing it because he had no plan. But but this is how you know he's like a good content creator because I was still with him the whole mm. time. I said, no, nah, he's going to figure it out because he's like slay. It's sitting in this like on the floor, I think, and being like, it's fine because they're going to think I planned it all. Cut to them. Uh, you know what? That must have been too easy. He must have a better plan. Well, and he had seeded this earlier too with, <laughs> with the secret note. And then I had to pause. The note said, I don't know. I'm just freaking him out. <laughs> Sicko. <laughs> oh my God. Can I say this? And I mean this like in positively. Ben has been out to get Sam this whole <laughs> season. Okay. It starts with God hates Sam. But he would never get lucky with anything. <laughs> so then it just someone make a super cut of all these things Ben has said. Because and then it just escalates, right? Like, I hope the train goes in falls into Lake Como. Then at another point, it goes, Well, I just hope the train blows up. And it's like, what is the reason? <laughs> oh, but yes, I just I love Ben because he's like, I'm just playing mind games, blah, blah, blah. Eventually, he does get on a train. We're good. And he pulls a lot of challenges. And I'm sorry, Darren. These challenges are outrageous. <laughs> it's always Ben that has yes. to do gross food stuff. Yes. Alcohol or gross food stuff. Ben. Because mm -hmm. Shop Like a Local was, like, funny. I thought it was just a really smart challenge. Mm -hmm. But, again, when it goes to someone like Ben... It just gets more ridiculous because his outfit <laughs> that he had on. Actually, whole whole season's outfits need to be on like an LTK shop. You know, where do we buy them for our uh, travels? Need to know, Ben. But yeah, he, he just goes, I'm looking particularly American. <laughs> what a smart way of saying, of categorizing your outfit. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. No. I have never missed <laughs> except yeah. the train, but it, it all worked out. It was fine, but oh my God, it just took me out. Like he was like, I need to blend in, but I got this. <laughs> I just love the idea of just like, please, like just hoping and praying that they don't even speak to him. <laughs> and then he was like, he was speaking to me. I was terrified.
Because apparently, like, I'm thinking, oh, so do Italians, like, dress like this? And we just didn't know? Because that's all it was, that the man just wouldn't stop speaking Italian. I mean, surely you just go, mm-hmm. Right? Is that allowed? Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm, English? I don't think so. Okay. It's just a noise, right? Yeah. Or I'd be like the Migos, um, the rappers, and just, like, coming up with random... Burp, burp, burp. Yeah, maybe you know? maybe instead of mm -hmm, you just go, mm. Yeah. Mm. Or I could just go full Indian and just like left and right with yeah. my head or up and down. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, she's Indian. And they'd be like, she doesn't speak English. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, then, he, then he has to make a pickle. This is the unserious. Uh, Where do you fall on the on the great pickle debate? Because uh, mm -hmm. they were really on uh, Ben for calling this a pickle. And I have to say... I was with them. Like I was watching him call this jar of goop a pickle. Um, and I was like, I was being gaslit by Ben. I was just like, I guess I just don't know enough about pickles. I guess that can be a pickle. Um, and then when when uh, Sam and Adam were like, that's not a pickle, Ben. I was like, oh, OK, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Here's the thing. Is it like a pickle? Me thinks that it has all the elements of a pickle. Do they, did they come together to make pickle? Sure. That I think we can argue. But here's the thing. He put pickles on pickles, quote unquote. You okay, pour, vinegar. You're pouring pickle. You're drinking pickle. <laughs> like vinegar uh, is what it is. But he's like having pouring vinegar on everything. I feel like that's punishment enough. That I, I felt the same way, and I think they did yeah. as well. I certainly would not have failed him for this challenge. Yeah, because it's ridiculous. Like, because sure, I think we can argue like, oh, technicality. But we are on a time crunch, baby. Man already missed the damn train, so we can only do so much. So he has to literally sit there, and I think the contents came together. No, sorry, the contents were mixed together. Mm. And that's where it ended. <laughs> and that's really. I just felt bad for anyone else on that train. <laughs> no, because that stuff smells rank. Yeah. <laughs> I've only once um, at an old job, like one of the things was like, we all made pickles. And I threw that shit away. I was like, I don't think it's supposed to smell like this. I did it wrong. <laughs> And it's like a chef like taught us. And I said, nah, I must have done it wrong. I think my favorite part about this run was later during, <laughs> I believe, Adam's run when Ben finds two challenge cards on the ground. He's like, what? oh, Adam dropped these. And then he's like, wait, it says make a pickle. <laughs> when I, I just feel like Ben was like in a zone that like, just no notes on everything that he was doing. It was just nonstop laughter. Like, and, and I think it's just like his dry humor, but oh my God, he was taking me out. Like the outfits that, yeah. Like why have we littered and how is that litter still there? <laughs> well, they're going to the same places. That's fair. When I tell you, it's just a circle. <laughs> Of them just going one to here. I saw on Reddit someone posted like the four horsemen <laughs> of the apocalypse, and it's it's the four stations. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Venice and Easter. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Padua, whatever the four. And I was like, yep, you can't even lie. Yeah. Oh. Um, so they do eventually catch him, but not before his train takes off, which puts Adam yes. in quite the rough. Pickle, I should say. Because thank God we didn't see a desecrated ravioli, I must say. Or maybe we did it. I missed it because, again, I was just stressed about the pickle. And he, the thing is, he says, I'm going to go rat mode. And they spent money, Taryn, on, on the rat mode. Uh, like, <laughs> what is it? Uh, the rat mode, like, map, right? Where mm -hmm. you're like, you see, you see him going, like, in figure eights, basically. And then them running behind him on the map, allegedly. Mm -hmm. All for him to just get caught? Outrageous. Outrageous. Uh, it's at this point in the season, I felt like between Ben's missed train and then Adam getting stuck on a moving train, I was like, okay, 
this feels like it's Sam's to lose because yeah, I he's agree. definitely getting another turn mm -hmm. and he's got so much money. All he needs to do is break away and he should have this in the back. Um, and, uh, and the only real challenge to that, I would assume, and at least at when I, when watching this, I was like, the only real challenge to that would be if Adam somehow manages to like actually mm. win right now uh from this terrible terrible spot start um and uh and for a moment there it looked like wait a minute hold on <laughs> because there are some interesting uh interactions that he has with the with the chasers oh my, here's the thing i so before adam runs start right when they the fact that they left in sam basically like helping like giving adam the layup right to so be like so you can get out on, on the mm -hmm. station. Uh, I said, well, why would you do that? And then I'm thinking, oh, but they must have left this in. Maybe Sam wins and that, you know, like we're getting a little bit like, oh, against all odds. Like, you know, we really tried to help everyone else. See, I thought this was I thought maybe this was left in because this was Sam's vital mistake that he was which, overconfident, <laughs> which is the most on point thing to happen in jet lag. But then then. In my mind, Taryn, then then when the train switcheroo happened that I I was like, I have to do a podcast on this. I don't even understand what the hell happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and and then the, so the train switcheroo and whatever, I feel like it happens like 17 times. Then I said, Adam's what taking it. There's no way. And then all of a sudden, that's not true. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what happens here is that Adam comes up with this interesting plan, which is to uh, instead of go straight to a choke point, yes. um, get off, switch trains to another train that's going to the choke point, just a slight delay in the hopes that the confusion will cause Ben and Sam, uh, Ben and Sam to get on his original train thinking that the tracker is just off and that he must still be on the train. Um, and, uh, we never got to see that play out because there was a different kind of confusion that happened. And it's wild. Uh, it's wild that it happened this way. And I, I almost wonder like if, if Adam had known that they mm -hmm. were there, could he have evaded them as cleanly? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, there is such a underrated, uh, you know, uh, strategy of ignorance. <laughs> I feel like when you're ignorant, right? Like uh, going back to the other uh, tag, you're in, I think it was season two, right? Yeah. Where Ben just hiding in the um, photo booth. Yep. Imagine that you could see on your phone. He could hear them. I know. But I'm saying seeing on your phone where exactly they are in the stress that that could cause uh, Ben. I think ignorance works mysterious ways. Yeah. Um, so how it works the first time is that they happen to stop at the exact transfer he's making they're hiding in in the hopes of like he is either gonna get off the train mm -hmm. or uh or he's gonna stay on the train and if he gets off he'll come down these stairs um and ben is is peeking and he sees adam getting off the train and they're like oh, oh he's getting off the train so we'll stay here and we'll catch him as he comes down the stairs. Um, but of course, Adam's just transferring over across the path to the other train that is on the other side, uh, gets into that train, and they're like, where is he? Oh, literally. When I, when I tell you, like, the way they... Talk about going rat mode because he literally... Ben, ben and Sam, like, run down so fast so as to not spook him. And then they just like let him go poof gone. Well, and Ben was in, you know, camouflage, stealth mode. Yes. Yes. Uh, I liked Sam was like, well, did he maybe he saw you? And he's like, he couldn't have. <laughs> I was in disguise. And I just love uh how Sam goes with it. He's like, Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, you're right. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a serious ass conversation. <laughs> so then this accidentally tricks them into getting onto Adam's original train, which honestly isn't even that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. It's still, it's actually worse for Adam because now his plan of tricking them at the further station can't work. He's already used it up 
beforehand. They know he's coming on this later train. He's screwed. This was an accidental slip, but he's still in trouble at the next station. Yeah. Until. <laughs> and, and again, the edit, right? You, you would think, okay, they got on a train. It must be the same train. The fact that they're going to Monselice, I believe, sorry, or Padua, whichever, one of them damn stations, and <laughs> they're on parallel trains is but yes, and then you were saying then then part two of why I was like, is that a winning? He somehow gets off the train without either of them seeing. And, and we see in the shot, or we see that, yeah. oh, here's Adam's little uh, thing. Unbeknownst to him, he's just evaded them for a second time. <laughs> and they're like, I guess we got to get on this train. He must still be here. <laughs> Oh my god, it was so funny. I will say, I like there is an element to the format of tag. Yeah. That makes me wish that a moment like this felt more consequential. Oh, like, I, okay. Like okay. the fact that they missed him twice and that he had uh, so much better a run makes me feel like <laughs> it makes me wish that it had meant more than just getting caught in the next station uh or whatever um, and but like, doing challenges or two right yeah. like it wasn't like uh, like a sam who was like okay i want you to come catch me i'm like chicken uh this was very much like oh he thought he was good to go and like at the end of the day i don't, I don't know that there's a solve for that like no. uh, you know it's not like oh well we missed him therefore we have to wait longer or anything but um Fair. But, uh, but it, you know, it. I, I'm sure there was some breakaway point where if he had made it far enough, it would have actually been disastrous for them. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was not the point at which he managed to get as they do eventually catch up to him as he's just hanging around, uh, you know, just trying to do various challenges. Trying um, to find the accent quiz. That was ridiculous. It was so hard. I, I was like, they're all three the same. What do you mean? I wasn't like paying attention to the rule set at first. Sure. So when I saw all three, I was like, oh, he must just have to get one right. Um, oh, because even just getting one right, like would be so hard. Uh, and if he gets one right, he must win. <laughs> I was like, no, if you get any of them wrong. And again, any of them wrong equals you're only going to get one right because there's three, <laughs> uh, maybe five, you know, maybe if it was like five and you get three out of five, so it's a little bit of wiggle room. No, nah, Amy, Amy strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so. And uh, I again, this is coming from straight up ignorance. So I apologies. But I feel like because Austrian and Swiss, you know, they they speak similar ish language not actually the same i know it's different languages i was just in switzerland but i just mean like because the the accent could come off similar to our untrained ears mm -hmm. um because I'm, I'm not looking for like arnold schwarzenegger's like freaking accent you know what i mean like for austria I mean, it's, it's one thing to like <laughs> like identify the language yeah, you know exactly. I mean? It's another to identify what does the language sound like when they're speaking English. It, that is so hard. <laughs> oh my! Because I, I think you're right. Because even if the languages are close in Europe, right, like Swiss German, whatever, all of that, maybe you can make some distinctions. Blah blah blah. But like hell, they're all speaking English. <laughs> and this is why you can really tell I'm from Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh well, of course, they do finally catch up to Adam and uh, and that means that Sam gets his his billionaire run. Um, and uh, I it's hard to know if like he hadn't made this train if mm. if that would have mattered c given how dramatically far ahead he ended up getting. Um, but to top it all off, he gets the God run with this train that is delayed the exact amount of time he needs to get on it. Um, and it just completely breaks away. Uh, ben and Adam are not able to make their train. And it's just uh, at this point, it's it's just a cruise to the victory. 
Yeah, it it almost again. Usually, when this happens in a jet lag, you're you're kind of like, ah, oh, shucks. Okay, fine. But I don't know why this felt really fun. Again, I think that it's because of the content uh, creating in this moment, but and maybe Ben saltiness, if nothing else. But it's so funny to be like, oh, maybe their train is also delayed. Yes. Uh, ben and Adam's next Milan train is delayed, but only by two minutes. And the Italian train, or yeah, I think that's the Italian train, whichever, the train before delayed five minutes. Like that stuff is so funny because if you're going to lose, this is a fun way to lose. And and I, I truly think that like Sam made the whole episode work by finishing at the castle where Adam hid for hide and seek. I mean, that was that was so a, an inspired funny. choice. So funny. Again, shout out to content creation. Because at first, I, like, you know, they're like, oh, you know exactly where I am. And I said, okay, get it. You're in Switzerland. That's funny. Uh, and then I was like, okay, I think I've heard of this place. But like I said, I just went to Switzerland like a month ago. So in my mind, I'm like, where did I hear it? <laughs> was it when I went or when they went? And then I, I hear the castle and I say, oh, I'm here. <laughs> it made sense. And it was such a good meme ending i love this kind of stuff this is why i watch all of this this yeah. is why um ben transforms into the trophy where does this rank oh my god i was gonna ask you that like too trophies. okay kangaroo was great because i love a good balloon but the fact that this was fda approved taryn mm. um it's giving bionic man so i feel like it has to be top two we should do a podcast I ranking know. the jet lag trophies <laughs> We should, because that was going to be my question for you. So yes, um, uh, I I do think we should do all the trophies, and then maybe we try to predict the next trophy. Oh boy, which we will never get right, but that's not the point. Mm -hmm. We'd I, I think we'd have to wait until we knew what the game was. Correct. It be game related. Correct. Correct. Ooh. Like how? Like you'd never be able to predict that Ben would transform into the trophy because you wouldn't no. know if Ben won. And certainly, oh, if Ben won, he would transform into his transform. own trophy. Yes. Would Adam transform into Ben's trophy? I, I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if Adam is as much of a transformer as Ben is. Mm, you're right. Self mode. Ooh, that's how he was able to do self mode because he'd already <laughs> got the FDA uh, yeah. surgery. Duh. Checks out. Makes sense. I loved. It. <laughs> I just think this is so, like, my favorite is, they're like, oh, it's a balloon trophy coming to you, Toby. And Toby was like, a kangaroo shaped balloon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, uh, another great season of jet lag. So good. So Tag good. is very fun. Uh, it's mm -hmm. still not old for me. I, I, I still no. really enjoy it. Um, I, I'm curious to see if they make any further changes yeah i think there's obviously a lot of room to to make changes uh small and big um and experiment with different things so i'm sure that they will uh you know look into whatever they're gonna do like for instance one of my thoughts was given how uh prevalent the idea of like if they just knew that the the chasers where the chasers were it would have completely changed things like what if there's a version of tag where you do have at least limited access? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like, it, yeah, I would say limited. Um, I wonder if it's too OP because are they able to evade? Well, I don't, I don't well, that's, know. So uh, yeah. my thought was like, okay, you have, you have limited access. If they get too close, you lose access. Oh, okay. Then that's um, fair. Okay. I because like that. You, because you yeah. won't, you won't be chasing them through the streets of wherever. Right? Um, <laughs> yeah. And then also you'd have to probably like, again, further increase the challenge of the challenges oh, or okay, like okay. Uh, the cost of travel, perhaps yeah. uh, stuff like that to like help counterbalance it. But like, I wonder mm -hmm. if it would make things more or less interesting um from the viewer perspective to be able to watch them be like oh my god they're coming this way like i need to get out of here this way uh exactly. as opposed to just being like completely oblivious mm -hmm. um there's something really fun about them being completely ob oblivious obviously because um, we get that whole adam run yeah exactly so like i like i don't know mm -hmm. like 
I just think, like I said, I think there's so much room to exactly. experiment with different things. Uh, and and um, I'm sure whatever they come up with is going to be really fun. But, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have a chance to talk to them about this season and maybe yeah. what they've what they've learned from it and what they might be looking into in the future. Uh, so maybe, maybe stay tuned for that. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you put your questions in the chat. I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe we, maybe I read the comments and bring it. To, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I really like that. Uh, Taryn, my um, like iteration was what would it look like if they had to hit? And I don't know if the, Europe or this specific part of Europe makes sense for it. But what if they had to hit a certain amount of transportation? Like you have to mm. hit three and you can, you know, shit house it a little, right? Like you get on a little line bike and that counts. Um, but yeah, what if they had to hit like five different modes of transportation? Um, I know Sam loves trains and that's fair because trains are, um, really good when they work, but, uh, I wonder if, yeah, like there's a heightened, just like another hurdle to like the same game. Like you said, either, you know, the chasers or you have to use a certain amount of thing because them having to go over water would like, I don't think it's like fail i think that's hilarious um having to chase someone um but what would yeah but i think it would have to be like different countries like i don't i don't think this makes sense here mm. well uh i regardless i'm very yeah. much looking forward to what they come up with next for both tag and uh and the next season are we going to japan question mark because I, I saw the yeah because we just got like a glimpse at the end um and folks were saying it's japan uh, um and there's they're they're separate separate separated again um i don't know what that means uh yeah it was at I, the I, end I, of the finale I I, yeah i am seeing people say mm -hmm. it could be japan so um which makes sense another place with great great trains yes uh um, so it totally makes sense uh if we are in japan and is it you know, Again, this is my very basic theory is like, is it another hide and seek in Japan? Um, Listen, I or love another hide and seek. seek but if we Japan. if we go back to hide and seek and it's Japan, I, I'm I'm totally in. Yeah, I really enjoy that too. So let's see. No idea. Just a question. Uh either way, I feel really excited uh by it. And that could be one of your and my um opinion, one of our 95 opinions that we have to write. Mm. <laughs> we'll <laughs> just <laughs> get better or is this those are great that was a, that was a, it was exactly how adam described it on the podcast it was like fun to watch in a montage must <laughs> have been really annoying to do elon musk has ruined twitter uh duh that's why we yeah. want billionaire <laughs> sam to buy it all right oh, anything else from this season of jet lag sasha no um i do oh sam eating the card oh yes ridiculous <laughs> Yeah, because I highlighted Eat this card. It made me wonder, like, did they make it out of any particular material? Like that was exactly my question. Cause um allegedly, I, I mean I have tried it. The the orbit gum wrapper you can eat. I mean, it's horror, but mm -hmm. um I have tried it. It's just like weird. Uh, so I was like, what what's the tea on that? <laughs> I feel I like I needed a follow up. Something. <laughs> Did they just and he ate that shit too? Like it wasn't like a oh I'm not like why do he just like look around because he's embarrassed low key and then just like the looking around was great. <laughs> and he's just, like put it in his mouth. Luckily for him, he didn't have to eat any of Ben's old cards. Oh my imagine if they were on the floor. <laughs> oh, yuck. You know what? Germs make us better. <laughs> do they? They they build up immunity. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, uh, what a fun season. Um, yes. You know, uh, we'd love to, of course, uh, be back for more jet lag. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Uh, you know, especially as uh, other things are wrapping up, maybe we'll have a little more time for some jet lag. Yes. Who knows? Um, but uh, in the meantime, send some questions. Send some uh, some thoughts, opinions. If you want more jet lag coverage, you should say so. Yeah. I, and we see your too. tweets. Yeah, we did see your tweets. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, just make make noise. 
you know uh and then and then maybe we'll maybe we'll have it for you i don't know uh so um <laughs> thanks again for hanging out with us here of course check out all the other coverage we've got going on big brother survivor the circle all kinds of stuff happening stay tuned for more jet lag stuff uh sasha what do you, what do you got going on yeah, and of course, in addition to everything Taryn just said, uh, I, uh, with Kirsten McKennis, cover a pop culture celebrity gossip, why something's trending online. We're talking all about it on Mess Magnets on Rob as a website slash mess feed so check that out if you want to just be updated on what's going on in the world and of course Chappelle and I just wrapped up our below deck med coverage check that out right here on YouTube uh, or wherever you listen to your podcast and a new podcast uh Taryn are you watching Dancing with the Stars because we're talking about it right here on YouTube as well, or on the same feed you're listening to us on jet lag. So we're there again, another one. If you're enjoying it, make some noise, help us out. Uh, Matt Liguori, Brandon Donlin, and I are talking about your favorite stars dancing. And Taryn and I are over on covering different podcasts, many podcasts on uh, We Know Scripted TV as well. So check out all our coverage on there. Mike Bloom and I do a specific talking to your favorite reality TV stars about their favorite uh, scripted shows. So check all of that stuff out. And for everything else, just follow me on Twitter at funsize underscore 04. And what about you, Taryn? It's, it's, uh, listen, find yeah. me on Twitch, you know? Period. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for joining us here for uh, Jet Lag the Game Tag 3 uh, season, what was it, 11? Yes, because season 12 is coming up. Yes. Season yes, 11. I knew that. All right. Thank you all so much for joining us, and we will see all of you next time. Bye.